God. Why do they only give you one of these? Everything uses serial ATA now. Stupid thing. Okay, pull that one out. Let's try the difficult to reach one first. Moses. Okay, it goes. No, it doesn't go that way. Ugh. Upside down is fun. Upside down is fun. Okay, so both of these somehow have to fit in this space. <laughs> okay, underneath. There we go. Okay, that is in. And this one. Right. God. Yes, right there. There. Okay, they're both in. We have power. <laughs> now, we gotta somehow reach the serial ATA ports. This is gonna be fun. That. There's just no room in here. Okay. Two. Okay, let's go underneath. Make the hard drive. Device one. There we go. Device one. Connected. Okay. Burner. Device two. To go here. Underneath, maybe. Okay. Here. Around some things here. There we go. Okay. Device two. All right. So that is connected. That is connected. That's connected, that is connected. It's good. Whew! Alright. Okay, so I think that takes care of all of our internal devices. Do not forget to connect the 4-pin ATX plus 12 volt power plug, otherwise the system will not boot up. Looks like that is this one. Okay. Alright, so it's not this one. So my, my spare five and a quarter inch drive bay has become the uh, stash for unused power cables. And we want to make sure that a lot of this stuff is as out of the way as possible. Don't want anything getting in the way of the CPU fan or preferably not touching the heat sink. Okay. Let's put the uh, case fan back in. I hate dealing with case fan screws. Such a pain to deal with. Because they're not like regular screws, they're more like wood screws. Okay, so. you have all your cooling all nicely set up. As the cooler your computer runs, the more efficiently it runs. And if you have inadequate cooling, well, your computer can blow up. <laughs> or melt down. Or blow up and then melt down. Or blow up and melt down simultaneously. Then you have a nice crater in your living room. Okay, so case fan is installed, and it really is that simple. I mean, there's nothing, nothing fancy about installing a case fan. Uh, where the heck is the power for it? I saw it around here earlier in my travels. I hope it's not hidden by a million things now. Yeah, ah, there it is. Okay, so that goes. There we go. Case fan, 
plugged in. So, there's only a couple more things I need to add in here and then uh, I think we're good to go. I think we're actually almost ready. Oh my god. Alright, so another nice thing about the compacts is uh, with a lot of cases, uh, I don't know how true this is anymore, but in a lot of cases, like computer cases, um, when you would put in cards, you would have to put in an individual screw to hold down each card in place. But in this case, you just have this, which is like a little plate with one screw, and it just pushes down on all the cards that you got in there, and that's it. You don't even have to worry about it. Okay, so I got a couple of cards that I want to put in here. Obviously, this one is of vital importance, which is my Firewire ports. Now, these are just standard PCI cards, so nothing too, uh, too fancy. Sorry, my tape ran out. Now, the nice thing about PCI cards is they're, uh, yeah, here we'll spin it around so you can see a little better, is they're, uh, they're super simple to install. There's really no skill required whatsoever. You just line it up with the slot and push it in, and you're done. That's it. And then the, uh, and then when you put the, the back panel back on over the, the card uh, backs, it will actually hold the card firmly in place, which is great. So, okay. So next up, we got this one. It's another PCI card. And this I actually got back in the days of my Pentium 3. Pentium 3 only had USB 1 ports, but this, via a nice handy PCI cards, uh, card, gave me four USB 2 ports, which are considerably faster. Give you a transfer rate of up to uh, 480 megabits per second. It's quite uh, quite nice. Now, again, with the cards, I don't like to handle the uh, the metal of them at all. Well, the, the you know back panel, of course, who cares? But the um, uh, what's going on here? Okay, so I like to uh, handle them by the plastic rather than the metal. There we go that in we're good to go the strange thing about this USB card is it actually has an internal USB port so it actually lists it as a 5 port uh, but I don't know why you would hook up like just a USB plug inside to get these cables out of the way I really don't want anything touching the heat sink I'm just looking for uh, like different ways that I can sort of get things out of the way keep them as far away from the fans and the heat sinks and stuff as possible because I really don't like to, uh, to have anything more touching those than absolutely needs to be preferably nothing. Okay, so next we'll uh, just put this on here. Oh, sorry, it actually hooks, hooks on like that. So I still do have two uh, PCI Express slots, a PCI Express 16 and 1, I think, yeah, a, a, a PCI Express 1 and 16 uh, slots, so I can actually put in a kick-ass graphics card or something if I want to later, and uh, yeah, and I've also got a powered 7-port uh, USB hub, so even though I've got an additional 4 ports on the back here, um, I can get even more with that uh, powered hub. And the nice thing about it being a powered hub is it doesn't need to draw any power from the actual computer, which is great. Okay, well, I, I don't know what more I can do here. I think, I think we're actually done. I think we're finished. Okay, so all that remains is to um, <laughs> cross our fingers, plug in the uh, power, plug in the two monitors, and fire it up for the first time and see what happens. All right, so let's uh, let's head over to the computer desk there. I'll warn you in advance, it's a mess, but it's always a mess. Uh, and we'll hook it up to the, to the two monitors and, uh, and see if we actually have a functioning computer. All righty, see you there.